Aloha everyone! I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sisterhood Furniture and content creators for Dixie Bell Paint. In this tutorial we are working on this cutie which is actually a commission piece. Our customer wanted us to recreate this uh, piece we painted a while ago so let's do it! Let's do it! We used a vacuum with brush attachment on this piece and then we clean it with white lightening and rinse it twice with clean water and rugs. I apply slick stick on the metal bars. This is an adhesion primer so the paint will properly stick to the bars. I apply two coats of slick stick and I let it to cure for 24 hours. There were actually some broken beads, so we glued them in between each other and then we used a clamp and let it dry for a few hours. I started with the gulf, this lovely light blue, just to give you a short explanation on what is going on here at the moment. On the original wooden piece, we first applied a sea salt, which is a texture additive. And we applied it only on the first coat, so when we'll overlay the next colors, then sand them, the colored texture underneath will be revealed and there will be like speckles of color. Underneath the gulf, I applied a custom color we did a while ago, made of colonel mustard and tree frog green. We couldn't really do the same and add texture on this piece, so we just applied a thicker layer of paint. Also, to make the colors from underneath to pick through, we just need to do um, like a heavy dry brushing with the lighter colors on the dark ones and the darker colors on the light ones. But we will show you uh, what we are talking about on the next coat. So, on the right side of the piece, I applied Colonel Mustard, this strong and gorgeous shade of yellow. We just applied the paint in a way uh, that if you look at the piece, you will feel like you look from the above at a sunny beach and waves. So that's why we call this piece Sun Waves. The next color is this gorgeous Florida Orange. I started applying it on the corners and then just dragging it to the middle, overlaying it with Colonel Mustard. The last color here is the Rusty Nail and I overlaid it with Florida Orange like I did previously. We let it dry for two hours and now let's move working on the second coat with my gorgeous little helper here. I started with the gulf, applying it here and there, so when I overlay the next color, peacock, there will be lovely shade variations as they will like blend in. It's going to be so nice, I hope. You can see now after I added some peacock uh, the color variations. And I also added a bit of Bunker Hill blue, mostly on the corners to create a little shadow. Now I applied limeade over green, I just pick up a small amount of paint and apply it over it while still leaving it picked through, that's why I said pick up a small amount of paint. I lift up the limeade over the blue so the blend will look like seamless just using the leftover paint I had on the brush. Mm -hmm. 
I applied more Bunker Hill Blue at the border between blue and yellow to create some drama there, but not too much. I added Florida Orange using horizontal motions at all times, then blended in Colonel Mustard. At the end, I added a bit of gulf to make a better transition between the colors. Now I took a really small amount of chocolate and wiped it on a piece of cloth and I started dry brushing on the corners. We seal the whole piece with flat clear coat in three layers, letting each one to dry for about two hours in between. And this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, learned something new and if you did so, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. See you next time, bye!